Welcome to Anime. This is the absolute new tutorial for anyone who's never even seen this before, has no clue what to do. First thing we do, we get to the splash screen, hit create new. Uh, it's already been selected. Action script, don't worry about changing this unless you really want to. Hit create and you'll end up with this. Okay, this is the stage. This is where you, I guess, draw your pictures, put in your text, make your visual user interface. Down here we have the timeline. This is where your frames are. So when you make a change on the screen, so maybe I draw something here with this brush tool, you can see that my frame gets filled. And we can also zoom in a little bit to make it a little bit clearer. See how the frame goes gray when you do something on it? Um, and then this one over here is blank. Then I'm gonna use my top selection tool here Press Control A and delete. And we're back to square one. All right, uh, you got a bunch of tools down the side here. You got shape tools, you got text tools. Generally, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, text tool, click in the middle, type something. It's crazy. Use a top tool here to select things. Use the one below it to make them bigger and smaller. Um, it's, yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out if you just have a bit of a play. Um, generally, we have the properties panel on the side here. By default, if you click on the background, you'll get the properties for the entire thing. So like how big your stage is, the background color of your stage, your frame rate, that kind of stuff. When you click on an object, you get the individual properties of that object. So this text box, for example. All right, um, the last little window I want to talk about is the actions layer. If you press F9, it'll pop up like this. This is where we give Animate its code. So using Action Script 3, um, we give it instructions. So by default, let me just uh, close that now. Um, this thing will just play this timeline. So your timeline plays like, I guess, like in a movie editing program, it'll just play from start to finish uh, with however many frames you have. So if I was to press F6 five times, one, two, three, four, five, what I've done is I've replicated frame one, two, three, four, and five. They're all the same. They're all their own individual frames because you can tell by these little dots um, and there's some text on them because that's what I wrote in the first one. So what I'm going to do is some cheeky stop motion. I'm going to highlight these, press delete, and then I'm going to go here to frame number two, and I'm going to press delete on these later ones. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm to press delete on these ones. And I'm going to go to this one, go right here, delete these ones. And then here on my last frame, I'll leave it. So it should look like this. Looks like the text is being typed in. Again, if I press enter or control enter, it will play. And you can see that it is going crazy here. Um, so by default, it'll just keep looping through the timeline unless we give it a command. So if we press F9, type in stop, open, close, semicolon. That's the syntax for terminating a, um, a command. So stop, open, close bracket, semicolon. Not to be confused with a full colon, which looks like that, semicolon. All right, now, if we press Control Enter, you'll notice it isn't playing through. But maybe we do want it to play through, but just not so quick. We go back to our command here. Get rid of this stop. Um, stop is not the only thing you type in here, by the way. Um, and maybe we'll drop the speed of the frame. So it's at 24 frames per second here, which is pretty quick in terms of the fact we only have five frames. So we're going to click on the background with our selection tool choose FPS and we're going to change that to five frames per second. So now when we press control enter to loop it, looks like some eight bit animation there from like the 1990s. It's beautiful. Fantastic. Um, there's a couple of more settings you can play with these. Generally, uh, with your toolbar, if there's a little arrow at the bottom, it means there's more options to choose from. So like you get to figure that one out. Uh, one other thing, have a look at these colors here. This is the fill color. That is the stroke color. So whenever you're making shapes, You've got fill and stroke. If you don't want to have a stroke, <laughs> that's terrible. Um, click here and this little square here will get rid of the stroke. White box, red line through it, ain't got no stroke. No one wants to have a stroke. Um, selection tool, when you click on an object, it gets selected. If you double click, it'll select everything, including the stroke. Or if you want to just click the stroke by itself, you can press delete. That's absolute basics. Um, but before we go, I'm going to show you the get out of jail free card. Window, workspace, reset. It's magic. Just say you're playing around with this, you accidentally close this tab and you're like, Oh no, my timeline's gone! What do I do? Window, workspace, reset. It'll ask you and you'll say, yes, I do want to fix it. And wow, it's back to normal. Guaranteed that'll fix some problem for you somewhere along the line.